So, um, since a course line ended, I wanted to do, I still wanted to do videos, but I wasn't, I didn't know what to do, what kind of videos to do. So I'm going to start off with kind of like a tutorial of some sort. So, um, I am no expert in makeup whatsoever, but I believe I know how to do stage makeup for men very well with everyday products that you can get in stores. So when I was researching how to do makeup for a chorus line, um, I kept finding these tutorials. It was just like, buy this makeup kit, this stage makeup kit, get this really expensive thing. So I was just like, why can't I do that but with everyday makeup? So that's what I did for a chorus line. I did used drugstore everyday makeup and achieved the same look that these high-end, high-end makeup kits for men work. So yeah, so today's like a little tutorial. Um, I'm gonna show you all the products that I used. And um, yeah, every single product I bought was at Target and I've seen it like, I bought at Target and I've seen them at like CVS, Dwayne Reed, Walgreens, um, Walmart for even so yeah, um, so yeah, brushes, brushes, beauty blender products are all used except for one product was my eyebrow kit, but I can even tell you where to get like some, like the same kind of product, but, um, for a cheaper cost. So yeah, let's get into the tutorial. Okay. So we're going to start off with primer. Um, I feel like for the makeup to go on easier, even for men and women, you need to use a primer. So I use the e.l.f. primer, which is just, it's really simple. I gotta take off my glasses. It's really simple and really cheap. So I just do two pumps. Put the cap back on and back down here. And I just rub it all over my face just to prime my skin for the makeup. If you see me looking down here, I have a mirror down here because I'm pretty much legally blind, so if I if we're like, why is he looking down there? I'm looking at my mirror. Okay. So skin is primed. Um I do want to put my glasses back on real quick to um pin my hair back. I want to get it out of my face so I don't get any makeup on it. <laughs> um, whenever I do a show, I always keep bobby pins on me. Because my hair has a life of its own, it doesn't like to stay. So sometimes I get fed up and I just bobby pin it, but I just literally bobby pin it. And to this time, well, I know I've done that for, I think I did that for White Christmas, I was just like... My hair was just like having a life of its own. I was just like, I'm tired of you hair. I'm gonna pin you into the style I want. And also I didn't want to put like, I don't want to like put so much hairspray in my hair. Okay, so glasses back off. Okay, so for foundation, I figured I would use the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. So that's what I bought. And I bought it in the shade 112. I don't know if it's focusing, but yeah, um, so yeah, that's the product that I decided to use for this show. Specifically, I just dab a little bit on my hand because a little does go a long way, even though you are doing stage makeup and you want to do a little bit extra. A little does go a long way, and I just used this foundation brush from, um, that I got at, from e.l.f. to apply it to my face. So I just start on my forehead and work around my face just to get all the, the high points. So down the no bridge of the nose, on the forehead, cheeks, chin, above my lip, I just apply it everywhere. And I just use the brush to just apply it. I'm not going to use it to blend it out. Because 
I tried to when I was doing trial and errors with my makeup plot, but I realized that this doesn't blend that well, so yeah, set that here so I don't get foundation everywhere. I'm gonna take a makeup bite. this later need this so I keep it close by okay I just take a random beauty blender I take a beauty blender that I got from real techniques um I use the pointy end for when I do concealer for foundation I use this end so I just go in and just blend the foundation I always do my neck because when you do makeup your neck is always easy so I already have my eyebrows done for the day, but when I do stage, I make them darker than they already are. So if, you, if I get a little bit of foundation on my brow, I will wipe it off with the makeup wipe to reapply my brows then. Um, yes, if you notice, I have to get really close to my mirror because I cannot see. The reason I'm not doing foundation on um, my eyelids is because you'll see why I don't do it on my I'll put foundation on my eyelids. So yeah, we are pretty much blended. I'll just last well, check. Okay, we think we're good, so I'm gonna keep the beauty button in here, bye. And we're gonna move on to concealer. So for the purposes of concealer, I like to, I have lots of under eye bags. So I will use, I have, oh, it's the um, Maybelline Master Concealer. And I just do it for my under eyes because I get really bad under eye circles. Now I'm almost at the end of this concealer, so I gotta. Re it's also like now that I'm doing this tutorial, it's like, what do I need to replace when I do shows? When I do my next show, and I use the pointy pen and I just dab it in. Oh good. This is where I get to really close ones when I do my eyes, and then I just take the concealer and do my eyelid as well to prep because I do I will put shadow eyeshadow on and then um, for purposes of time I'm not going to do my blemishes but if I would have like a blemish or a weird mark from like shaving or something I will use concealer to cover that up so yeah we just blend it all blend it in to the skin Wonderful. That is done. That's done. So yeah. Next, I you I go in with a powder. I just like to set my face before then, and I use a, a powder brush that I got from Neil Techniques. I love this brush. I also use it for I'll use it for blending. So this brush will be have to stay nearby for the rest of the video. And I use just I just used Prime and Stay finishing powder for to set it all in and again I have to replace it then so I just turn on the brush and just put it all over my face where foundation and concealer are lying so yeah I just set it all in Okay, keep that nearby. Next is eyes. So, depending on what type of theater you're in, I like to do a neutral brown. Just bring life into my eyes because the first thing that will get washed out is your eyes. So I will do a natural shadow just to, you know, brighten it up. You don't even notice I'm wearing shadow. 
I don't think anyone sent a comment or said anything to me about wearing eyeshadow, so. It's, I use this, I found this at Target. It was just literally like a duo natural brown nude set of shadows. So that's what I do. And then, so, and they're both matte. There's no like shine to them. They're both a matte. So I use this Ito's eyeshadow brush that I actually got a giant for Halloween, that I used for Halloween. So I just take the lighter, the lighter shade and I just put that all over my lid. So you just apply it all over your lid on both eyes. Again, you don't need so much product. Okay, so yeah, that is done. Done with that brush. And then I use the Ito's blending brush. It's a blending eyeshadow brush. And I take the darker eyeshadow and I do it. And I just put it in my crease. Ooh, I dropped my eyeshadow. So yeah, Bobby, Bobby did a lot of, like, I had a lot of facial expressions when I was Bobby, and I was like, I need to make sure that my eyes are accentuated. So, the many facial expressions that I made in the show stood out. Okay, done with eyes, eyeshadows. Next is eyeliner. So... <laughs> For women, you really do the the, um, the top of your lid, you line the top of your lid, and some of you might do, like, a winged eyeliner. Men do not need to do that. We need to do underneath the very lower of our eyelid, not the waterline, but the lower of our eyelid, to open up the eyes so that we don't look dead on stage. That's mainly what makeup for men is on, for the stage, is so we don't look washed out because of the harsh stage lights now there are like when you're in a black box theater i wouldn't recommend wearing makeup you because the audience is so close these are for big proscenium houses where the audience is far away and you have harsh stage lights so like say when i did a chorus line we were in a big proscenium i didn't have to do this i had to do all this to get ready and now i'm also taking it slow and it doesn't take it took me about 10 minutes to do everything once I got it down pat. When, when I did the trial, it took me 20 minutes. <laughs> but now that I'm like, I am comfortable and I did it, it you, can, you can get it done in like 10 minutes. Um, but when, say, I'm doing the Pennsylvania Lighthouse when it's 100 seats, and that I might just do, I might do the a light. I'll make it a little bit thicker today just for the video. And for bigger, bigger houses, I'll make this line thick. But like, I'll do like a thin... I'll do like a thin um, eyeliner, some powder, just to like, so I don't, sh not oily and shiny, and then probably some blush. But like this one, we're gonna do a contour and blush and all the things. So yeah, you just do it on the lower of your eye. So I just take the pencil, turn the inner corner, and work to the outer, and then sometimes I go from the I go from the inside out and then sometimes it's like stops and so I go from the outside in. And you repeat it on the other eye. And you, your line doesn't have to be perfect because again, really no one's gonna see it. They're far people are far away. I got some eyeliner on my hand, so I'm gonna use my makeup wipe to get it off. Okay. Contour is next. Next is contour. Okay, contour brush from e.l.f. that I got at Target. It looks like this. It's a black brush and it's like angled. Okay, bronzer by e.l.f. Really cheap. You don't have to get the high-end stuff to achieve this look. Especially for men to make up when you're on a budget. Sometimes when you're nice, theaters will give pay you and you can get the good stuff. So like, 
that I'm in, we're doing community theater, and I gotta pay for this all myself. And makeup's not cheap. So yeah, go with, you go what you can for it. So you just put on the brush. I like to blow a little bit of it off so it's, it's not too much. And for contour, you're gonna literally, con that's what it is, contour your face, so. So like when you, it's like what you look like when you suck in. So I usually suck in, I go, and then I contour. I start up with my hairline and go down to my cheek. Okay. And then I know we probably look like a crazy person right now, but we're going to blend it out. We look like a crazy person with two brown lines in our faces. But there's a method to the madness. So we have to, the reason you contour for the stage is to accentuate your facial features. So we gotta look like, we gotta look at it, but we're gonna blend this contour in a little bit to our cheeks. I just used the powder brush to blend it into the rest of my makeup. Now you do want it a little bit darker because, again, the harsh lightings is what's going to be like blah. Next is blush. I do have two blushes. I just have this blush from, that I've had for years actually, from e.l.f. Got it, at, I'm pretty sure I got it at Target. I also have this, this other one that was a gift, it's from Make Me Over is a Divine Enhanced Blush Duo. Sometimes I use the, the pink, sometimes I want darker shades, but for course and purposes, I just use the e.l.f. one. So you open that up. I have this brush that I got from e.l.f. It's a powder brush from e.l.f., but I like to use it for blush. So just, and this one, I just, I tap on the mirror here. And then you just do it to the apple of your cheeks, but you go upwards. So it's just so it's not like one big circle. But you blend it upwards. And I always smile when I put blush on. More product. And again, my kinks, my cheeks are gonna look really pink. To the to the person up close, I am gonna look like a crazy person. In the course of this video, I'm gonna look like a crazy person. But when you put stage lights on. When you do the, the stage lights, it's not gonna look. And of course, I quick blend my face again. Like everything, just to double check. And that's pretty much it for face. And then um, we do brows. Okay, so my pain, my general opinion, I think the great thing about facial expressions is your eyebrows. And if you don't fill in your eyebrows on the stage, you're gonna look like a crazy person. And no one's gonna, no one's gonna see like, oh my god, I'm happy, I'm angry. Cause you see, I'm happy, angry, sad. Eyebrows change, so you can accentuate your eyebrows. I use this product, so I do an eyebrow every day in my life. I just love having a bold eyebrow, and I absolutely love this product. Don't have to get it if you don't want to, men, but you ladies get this product, because if you do your eyebrows a lot, get this product. I love it. Um, but men, you, there's like similar products that you can get at Target, which is does the same thing. It's um, So the product is... The Glossier Boy Brow. I absolutely love Glossier and their products. I use their um, face cleanser. But yeah, I got, um, I followed Catherine Steele. If any pe theater people follow Catherine Steele, she uses Glossier and she got me into the Boy Brow. I was like, oh my god, I want to try Boy Brow. So I ordered it and fell in love. So it's literally just like this spoolie. Um, I use in the, the color brown because my hair is brown. They also do it in clear black and blonde so just a spoolie and i just brush 
out my brows. Now for now I wouldn't make it I wouldn't make my brows this dark in real life. Also it's like I've had product on from the day that's set or already set into my brows. Usually when I went to the show I had my brows done. I had more product to accentuate my brows more. Just to no just to make my facial features even more exciting in uh, from the stage. And that is pretty much it. Um, lips, I just put a chapstick on. I don't have chapstick on me right now, otherwise I would apply it. Um, yeah, but you don't, men, no need for lipstick. Um, just a simple chapstick, just to have something on your lips. And that's all you really need. And that's it. That's all you need to do. I'm gonna put my glasses back on so I don't look like a crazy person. So that's all you need for stage makeup. Sometimes I put my glasses back on, I'm like, my contour looks crazy, so I blend it out more. But yeah, that's all you really need in life for makeup. Is a nice contour, for pristine stages, a nice contour, some blush, foundation, concealer, a little bit of eyeshadow, eyeliner, and a fierce brow. And that's all it takes. Again, if you're doing like a small stage where it's like not a lot of people and they're really close up to you, so you don't look dead because the stage lights are so harsh, I would just do a simple powder. Get that eyeliner on and some blush. And just get some blush on you. You don't even have to like, it's not even like, I have all these brushes because I like all these different brushes and using them for different reasons. You could, literally, you can buy this powder brush and do everything with it. Just powder, put some blush on, contour, you could have contoured with it. That's all you need. You just need one big fluffy brush and you can literally do all of it. Maybe I do, maybe I'll do like a simple one in the future and just do it all with one to the whole, this whole makeup look, which is for a smaller stage with more brush. Ooh, ideas, ideas. Okay. So that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you learned something from it because I love helping people out in the theater. So yeah, can't wait to see what's next. And thank you for watching. Okay, bye.